Hello my friends. Let me first off tell you that there are no spoilers here. Do not worry about that. Here's a quick overview of Ready Player Two, my first impressions. The book, the sequel to Ready Player One uh, by Ernie Klein just released today, November 24th, 2020. This morning, uh, unless you're watching this video in the near future in which it's probably been out for some time. It's also worth noting that uh, Ernest Klein is not just famous for Ready Player One. I thought Armada was good and some of the other things he's created, especially in the Star Wars universe, are amazing. But that being said, we are talking about Ready Player Two, the first impressions of the book. And right off the bat, uh, we hop back into the story with Wade Watts and what happened after the series of events in the first book, um, which is a little bit different than the film. If you haven't read the book, it's totally, totally worth it, um, even if you love the film. The scope of things are dramatically changed. In the very first pages of the book, something huge happens that drastically changes everything uh, in a very beautiful and amazing way. It, the, the book does step the game up a lot. What's gonna happen and what needs to happen. We find Wade and the other characters starting a new adventure and we see a timeline that starts pretty much right after the first book, but will carry on quite a ways into the future. And you knew there was gonna be Easter eggs, and sure enough, there are they're all over the place. Uh, from the get-go, there's references to songs, pop culture, shows, and such forth. Some of them suddenly laid in uh, gently for people to find. I think people will be discovering Easter eggs in this book for quite some time to go forward. And some of them more blatant. And I think a lot of people, uh, gave Ernie trash for kind of forcing so many cultural references into the first book. I, I loved them. But uh, th those are definitely here and you're not going to be missing them. Trust me. This book is rich with them. So going into this book I was a little bit skeptical because sequels are very hard to pull off. Uh, they can be very touchy and there's a lot of hype for this. Let's be honest. And I'm not going to lie to you. My first couple hours with it. I woke up this morning about 5 in the morning and I started on Audible. I'm listening to the uh, audiobook narrated by Will Whedon who does the first book. He also does other things like The Martian and just an amazing voice actor. Uh, it's overwhelmingly great. I'm not gonna lie. Like my first impressions are amazing. But I've still got a ways to go and I'll be doing a full review that will contain spoilers in the very near future. So make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for that. Otherwise, go get this book. What are you doing today? You have nothing better to do this Thanksgiving break, especially if you can't get out there with the current state of the world than escape into this crazy, uh, wild reality that is Ready Player Two. Thanks for watching, my friends. And in the very off chance that Ernie Klein ever sees this video, which is not likely, but I have to throw it in there just in the minute possibility. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving us this book. This world, uh, with everything going on right now, we need this book. I need this book. And uh, I'm so thankful for the world that you've created and this story that you're telling me. It's such an amazing thing, and you're helping a lot of people with it. So thank you, Mr. Klein.